Hi, Frank Conway here, and I'm going to show you how to calculate a standard deviation for a data set using this formula. Okay, again, we have this data that we used in our previous video on car speeds. So let's take a look at the formula, break it down, and we'll calculate the standard deviation. Okay, looking at the formula, we see on the top line, let's ignore the square root here for the moment, and you'll probably guess S stands for standard deviation. Sum of X minus the mean squared. X bar is the mean. So let's go ahead and calculate the mean first equals average, open your bracket, click the first figure and highlight all the figures that you need, close your bracket and return. And we see we have a mean of 44.25. So in the formula, step two, we need to find the difference between the x value, which is the kilometers per hour for each individual car that's recorded, and the mean. So x minus the mean is gonna be our new heading. So we need to find the deviation from car speeds and the mean. That simply equals, open your bracket, click on the cell you need to record, minus your mean value. Be careful, we need to keep that mean value fixed for all the other figures, so what we need to do is put in a dollar sign before and after that letter, B. Close your bracket and then return. And we see there's a deviation of 9.25 negative, in other words, the car speed was lower than the average speed of 44.25. So that's one deviation that we have. So we need to get another 19. And we'll notice that other deviations have positive values, which means speeds were faster. For example, at 55, you have, there was a 10.75 deviation from the mean. So that car had a difference of 10.75 kilometers per hour. And the first car had a difference of 9.25 kilometers per hour on the negative side. Step three, we need to square these deviations. So equals, open your bracket. We'll highlight the cell we need to square and use the upward key, which on the Mac can be found by holding down the shift button and you'll see it on number six. And we we'll put in our two to represent the fact that we're squaring it. Press return. And we do the same, we just scroll down, covering all the other figures. The purpose for doing that is to eliminate the negatives because if we go straight into summing up the deviations we'll end up with a zero value and we don't want that so we square those deviations get rid of the negatives and then we can sum up those values which is the next step equals sum open your bracket click and highlight all the figures that are needed and we'll have a figure of 1173.75 okay your next step then is to get the bottom of this equation which is n minus 1. n in this case is the number of figures in your data set which happens to be 20. So 20 minus 1 is going to give us 19. So I'm just going to put in equals, open your bracket, click on the figure that we need to divide into, forward slash is your divide, and I'm just going to put in the figure 19. And your standard deviation is going to be the square root of that figure. So equals SQRT, open your bracket, click on that cell, close your bracket, and we'll see the standard deviation is 7.86. Okay, standard deviation simply means given all the figures in your data set, some have a larger deviation, others have a smaller deviation from the mean, but on average, the deviations tend to be around 7.86. So what does this look like on a diagram? So let's look at the deviations and plot it with the mean. Okay, what I've done here is I've got the data for car speeds and I decided to take the mean and create another column just solely for the mean so that we're gonna identify the exact deviation from car speeds to the average car speed. So let's plot this diagram. I'm just gonna highlight all the figures that I need and the headings, click into charts, line, and this should do. Now, I don't necessarily want this, okay? So I'm gonna tidy this up a little bit better so that we can actually clearly see what a deviation looks like on a diagram. So I'm just gonna get rid of the, I'm gonna get rid of the lines 
so no line, but I will put a marker in there. Okay. And I want to get rid of this empty space. I'm just going to double click on the number on the vertical axis and I will choose a minimum value. And given that we have a value of about 25 minimum, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to get rid of the zero, replace it with a 25, and that should make things a lot clearer for us. So that's what the data looks like plotted on the diagram with the mean being a horizontal line across. And a deviation simply is just the difference between the value of the figure or car speed in this case to the mean, and likewise. Okay. And if we standardize this given that it was about 7.85, we would go 7.85 either side of the mean. Okay. To wrap up, let's take a look at an American football field and see how we can use this to explain the standard deviation. If you're familiar with American football, there are 11 players on each team. So here we have an example where the blue team is the offense and the orange team is the defense. And the players are located on the field like so. Given that the middle of the field is 50, let's take that as your average. So each player has a deviation from the average. And if you notice this player here in blue, is on the 20 yard line. Their deviation is 30 yards to the mean. So they have a deviation of 30. On the orange side, there are two players on the 20 yard line. And again, they have a deviation of 30 yards from the line. And if you follow that all the way through, on the blue side, you have two players that are exactly on the 30 yard line, which is a deviation of 20. And then we have six players on the five yard line. And if we sum up all those deviations on the blue side, I've calculated it earlier on, it's 142 yards. And if we added up the deviations for the orange team, you also get 142 yards. Why not check out economicrockstar.com forward slash statistics and you'll get a PDF where I actually go through all of this step by step explaining what the standard deviation is all about. You can use the NFL to help you understand the standard deviation. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned a lot from it and why not check out my other videos and if you wish why not subscribe, just click on the link here, Economic Rockstar link, subscribe, never miss a video.